What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ditch Pickler and in this episode of What Does Ditch Pickler Use? I'll be going in depth on the Kitek Fat Impact Swim Bait and how I use it out on the water to be successful. So let's get right into it. Alright, so I'm going to go through the different techniques of how I use a Kitek Fat Impact Bait and I'll just break it down really quick on the sizes I use and, uh, and the techniques. Uh, color is not as important. Uh, I like to match the hatch as much as possible and like match how what I'm using with them is as if I'm gonna use it as a trailer or such but uh, so let's get right into it okay so the first one will be a football head uh, I like to use this in the winter months I'll use a three-quarter to a one ounce football head and every and throughout the rest of the year I always use a half ounce uh, and I obviously you, you know I'm just dragging this along the bottom now if I wanna fish this off the bottom I'm gonna put on a, a swim jig head on there because I don't I'm never gonna let it hit the bottom at that point I'll be fishing it off the bottom but whenever I'm you know you're you or me are fishing this on the bottom you're always gonna use a football head so that's the proper jig to use for that application so this is how I fish this during the winter months basically all months throughout the year 12 months out of the year I fish this technique early spring and summertime and fall, when I'm flipping docks, I like to throw this setup right here. So I run it on, you know, some decent braid. This is 30 pound braid. I'm using a half ounce tungsten Strike King bullet weight. It's on a skinny bear uh, skirt, and then I use a three aught extra wide gap gamakatsu, and then I I, I Texas rig it. Now I cut the tip off of the worm, of uh, actually off the Kitek I should say, just so it sits a little bit cleaner, so it's not so bulky. So uh, this is how I fish it, uh, especially spring, it's really deadly when you're flipping docks. So the, this is a really good technique to fish your Kitek bait. Now third way I fish it, it's really effective in the spring months, summer and fall, not so much in the winter because uh, I'm fishing this when it's a little more shallow, like nine feet and less. And as I, I run it on a a chatter bait, this is a Z-Man, uh, an elite weedless. It's really nice. It comes with a really sweet uh, swivel, not that cheap click stuff one, but this is like the real deal. It has a nice weedless head and it's sh you know shaped like a little fish. This is what I use. I, this is a half ounce model. I run a 4.8 on it. So it gives it a bigger profile so you catch bigger bass. And then the final technique I use Kitex with the fat impacts right now would be a really good way to use it is drop shotting it. This is the 2.8 right here and uh, right now the, a lot of the bass are post spawn you know so when you're drop shotting especially fishing for smallmouth uh, they're looking for an easy meal and this bait is killer for catching those post spawners that are looking to get fat fat again after you know thinning themselves out after they've done the spawn so this is like the fourth way I like to fish this bait so those are four techniques that I use Kitex when I'm out there in the water you know most of the time I only really use three sizes I use the 2.8 for the drop shots I use for when I'm dragging and swim baiting them I use the 3.8 and the 4.8 and when I'm using it on a chatter bait I always use the 4.8 to give it a bigger profile now it's good to match the hatch try to keep it as, you know as close as possible when you're using like a white chatter bait or a white spinner bait or something you want to ma match that you want to make that a white a white Kai tech you don't want to be putting a green pumpkin on there not saying it wouldn't work but it, it, it looks much it looks better in the water and you know you're just kind of matching the forage uh, when I'm dragging the Kai techs you know it, Honestly, I've tried every color there is, and I, I've caught on every single one. Uh, so I, the Miller Natural ones and the ones that look like shad and stuff, even if you don't, obviously we don't have a regular shad in Washington, but uh, if, if you, uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, they, they just hit it. So I hope this video is informative for you and it helps you out, you know, go out there and catch a bigger bass. Uh, Kitex are my favorite bait out of all baits I use. Kitex are my number one go-to bait. Uh, I love fishing for smallmouth, and smallmouth love Kitex. Uh, 
I believe they're better than grubs and a lot of those other baits. And uh, I'll never not have a bunch of Kitex on my boat when I'm out there on the water. So if you like the video, please give it a like. Share it with anyone else who has not experienced fishing Kitex so they know these, these techniques and these setups. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber so you don't miss anything in the future. Turn on those no notifications so uh, you, you're always alerted when I put up a new video. Uh, and until the next video, always make sure you hook them hard.